Hey guys, quick update. Uh, it's been a while since I last posted an update, and that was primarily because I was having so many issues with the prints with uh, the Blue Gem Tico filament. And I swapped over to this LD filament that I've used for quite a while. And I was still having issues with that, the BAMTAC filament, until I had an extruder jam. And I ended up having to take the printer part so that I could clear the jam out of uh, this assembly right here. And the jam was actually so bad that I had to drill it out. And I think in doing that, that actually fixed a lot of the filament feeding issues that I was having. Um, I didn't take any pictures or anything like that because I thought I was actually going to have to order or submit a support request to order a new part. So the gem filament, this was not printed on the Tico, but the gem filament in my uh, Ultabots K250, it prints just fine. So I thought the snapping issue was with the filament, but I think it's with the way that the Tico homes and how long the Bowden tube is, because that printer is a direct drive printer. And I printed a few things out of that filament uh, with no issues, and the print quality of the, or I guess the quality of the filament was actually really good, oddly enough. So with the LD filament, after I cleared the jam, um, this was before the jam, and I don't, I'm not even sure how it managed to print this, but you can see some really minor layer shifting, and then you can just see some overall um, lines right here. And I printed this one at uh, 210. You can see that the ears aren't quite that nice, so I knew it was too hot. I also lowered, I don't remember the setting right now, but on the four speed settings, I uh, lowered it to, uh, should be 18, 20, 20, and then 8 for the last box. So then I printed this, uh, I think this is from Dead Space, and I printed this at 205, and you can see on the on the tips up there that those actually came out really nice. And I haven't tried removing the raft yet. Okay, so the raft, on this one at least, popped right off, I know, on this storm trooper bust, I actually, <laughs> it's going to take a lot more effort than I want to put into pulling the raft off, as this was a test print. But, so, and this is all with the Tico slicer, uh, I haven't had time to work on the uh, slicer settings, but I think the issues that I had with, with the jam in the uh, in the extruder housing was probably a lot of my issues. You could hear you could hear the motor grinding, and if I came in and I pushed the filament through, then it'd start catching again. But there were a lot of times where I'd push, and it just was not moving any further. So I ended up having a plug of filament stuck in here, and I couldn't even see through there. No, I don't think you can see that, but, but um, yeah, so I had to drill it out, and everything seems to be working fine. I did, I did these two prints today, so I'm going to 
start another larger print and see if I still have the same luck. But this is kind of a good sign that at least things with the slicer are okay. Now if we can just not have any more uh, filament issues and even the stringing, it's still there but it's not as bad as it once was. Uh, I'm going to try probably a lower temperature, maybe around like 202 since this came out almost perfect. Anyways, thanks for watching.